welcome back to white tara tarot reading and today we are trying to do a pick a card reading and the topic for today's reading is what are you thinking right now and what is the purpose of your thoughts what messages your angels want to convey to you in this time of deep thought process and answer for that fearful question which is burning somewhere deep inside your heart what is that question and what is the answer to that question through sacred cards so as you can see i have three piles here this is pile 1 pile 2 and pile 3 and today uh today i have choose to put the sea cells to attract your intuition because i believe that water is the body which is super magnetic the memory is this, the the memory of water is very very powerful and all these sea cells are uh, the by products or we find them near the sea shores as we all know that so if you want to pause the video you can go ahead take a deep breath meditate use your intuitions and whichever pile you are drawn to is your pick a card reading for today okay so let's start with pile 1 these are moving so much i'm afraid they will fall down so i have to be very very careful this is pile 2 okay let's begin with pile 1 so let me keep this seashell aside because they are very very delicate so i'm afraid they will break okay so those who have chosen pile 1 right now they are thinking that my goal of happiness is important enough and i attract the essence of my thoughts yes so you are thinking that those who chosen pile 1 you are thinking right now that uh the intuition i'm getting from this cards is that you're very very young and maybe you have had uh, no big goals uh by now for your life or you are very carefree uh, kind of soul and what matters to you at this time is only your happiness and now you are thinking that you know that's not enough now you want to behave more responsible you are thinking that uh now you have to take up responsibility now you have to start doing something creative uh by now you have enjoyed your childhood you have enjoyed your youth and uh, you were only concern was to be happy in your life but now you want to be a creator okay now you want to do something specific something special which will make uh you proud your parents your teachers your friends and everyone around you to appreciate you now you want to uh have a goal have a aim for your life of course happiness is the first priority for you and you are thinking that how could you uh attain what you are thinking and uh, you are also thinking that i attract the essence of my thoughts okay uh you know that the day when you're happy everybody around you is happy and you find everyone happy and smiling and everything is you know like easy but the day when you're sad the day when you don't want to communicate with people around you and then you find that everybody is gloomy so the happiness to you is through your mood if your mood is happy you find yourself happy and people around you happy and when you're sad you find yourself sad and you find the people around you also unhappy 
so this is what you are thinking and you are thinking why this is happening you know why i am thinking all this you are thinking all this because you have so much of time now you are quarantined you have uh, like so much of uh, free time leisurely time you eat you sleep you wake up you get into some creative activity you tune into some news channels and again you have nothing to do you have you cannot go out you cannot socialize and you are so much uh, uh, like uh, enough with the news you know because there is no new news coming up or no positive news coming up so you are thinking all the time you know like how to make people around you cheerful okay so this is what you're thinking now and what is the purpose of your thought the purpose of your thought is the children and talk to your angels okay so this card uh makes me think that you're confused you know you are so very confused so you can talk to your angels if you know who your guide angel is uh guardian angel is you can talk to your guardian angel and if you don't know who your guardian angel is you can just uh call upon say that i don't know who my guardian angel is but i know definitely i'm surrounded by some uh protective forces around me i want you to help me you know why i'm so confused am i going crazy Uh, like why things are freaking me out that's because you are not habituated to be locked down for s- it's been couple of weeks so it's nothing but just the change which you are not able to adapt so f- you can take the help of your angels the powers or the sources of your belief and take so no need to get confuse that you know why i am i becoming a different person no actually you are becoming the real you understand so this is what which you the change you are not able to adapt to it so and i told you i found uh, i got the intuition of the young energy from the cards i think you are very young and uh, you always want to be surrounded by your friends Uh, especially you are very compatible with children uh, you do so many kinds of gags jokes and uh, you always make people around you very happy when people see you or your friends see you when children uh, 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 in your presence they feel very very happy and light and uh, <clears throat> you're just you know like leading a group of a bunch of children a bunch of friends and you are the leader and everybody is cheering at you and you want all uh, this to happen again and that will be happening once the lockdown phase is over so don't worry about that so uh, that is what the purpose of all your thinking you're happy you were happy in a group and when you're in the self quarantine in the lo- lockdown lockdown situation you are still happy so uh you are happy anyways so you are thinking that you cannot be happy alone but definitely you can be happy when you are alone also because you are a carefree person you are a free soul you are a happy soul okay so what are the messages from your angels what messages your angels want to convey you let's see what are the messages which your angels want to convey you angel crystal saying that have faith and hope because there is something positive and new on the horizon that you can't see okay have faith whatever the source you believe let the belief believe be strong and a new change is coming soon something positive is going to happen which you are not able to see right now okay the white light i see the white light up here and down here and this is you you're totally confused 
so as what to do and what not to do but the good thing is you're happy in this confusion also so something new is happening and that will be revealed to you soon that is the message from angel crystal and one more message we have for you that is from angel sonia i bring you a message from your deceased loved ones i am happy at peace and i love you very much please don't worry about me okay so maybe this time you are also thinking about your deceased uh, elderly deceased uh, maybe your grandmother or grandfather who is no more with you you are thinking about them and uh, uh, you might be thinking about the time you have spent with them and they are watching you and they are saying you you know uh, they are giving you a message that don't worry uh, we are happy uh, very much happy and we are very much peaceful and uh, we are watching you and you are doing very well and we are very proud of you and please don't worry about uh, us and don't worry about yourself also you know everything will be taken well care of so that is the messages from the angels and uh, the question which is burning inside your heart not only inside your heart uh, for all the three uh, piles the the question is same deep inside your heart that is the end near will the planet earth go into chaos okay so for that question the soothing message which will console you is coming from the sacred cards which i have in my hands right now the first card says my dear the wheel of fortune very nice and the second card is the moon dharma so let me uh read out this card first the moon is the symbol of uncertainty but here the moon is balanced can you see the shut corner the tri- the star with the six triangles it's very auspicious uh, there's a kind of uh, pendulum or uh, what i see is a pendulum it is bringing the moon in balance and uh, though this moon resembles uncertainty but here it is like certain it is certainly giving you the answer that world is uh, not going to end nothing is going to happen we are all safe and there are the forces protecting us so you have nothing to worry about and this question is arising in your memory and your in your thoughts again and again because it has been fed to you so frequently uh, maybe for a couple of months that you know the world will finish by the end of 2020 and uh, all such uh, headlines so don't worry the world is not going to finish you are safe you have a very bright future and uh, you be happy as you are and uh, the moon is also the symbol of the feminism the mother the grandmother so you are very much concerned about your deceased grandmother or grandparents or you are very much concerned about maybe your mother's health so the six uh, triangle uh, star is saying that your mother's health will be fine stable balanced and all the feminine energy in your life which is surrounding you is uh, will be balanced Not everybody is safe you are more concerned about your mother than yourself what uh, i feel from this the moon card and uh, the moon card is uh, the sacred card is saying that uh, relax okay take a deep breath take a chill pill nothing is going to happen the wheel of fortune will continue the wheel of fortune is the dharma 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 means the righteousness the righteousness will never end or never collapse the righteousness will move smoothly like a wheel the wheel of dharma will be constantly moving so i hope you got the answer for the burning question in your heart that the world is the earth is not going to end the human race is not going to end we are all safe it's just a little shuffle and you know it's just it is the time for 
the test and we have to be strong we have to be positive and we have to emerge as winners and we have to be happy in whatsoever situation and uh, you think you're happy and what you're thinking is right so that is for the uh, uh, today's reading for pile one let's move ahead with pile two so let me keep these cards aside this is the pile two pile two i'm keeping the seashell aside as I told you, the seashells are very, very delicate. When I got them also, two of them were broken. So they are very, very delicate and uh, I, I really love them. You know, when I touch them, I love the feeling. Uh, I love the vibrations. What are you thinking? You're thinking that the law of attraction treats my imagination as reality. See, we are thinking so many things which we think are, uh, which we think that I cannot think all these things, you know, like my life's goals and my life uh, or my my thoughts are different, you know, why I am thinking off track. Actually, you're not thinking off track. This is real you. And you're thinking that whatever you're thinking is turning into reality. Okay, so what you're thinking, I hope that you're thinking all good. And I divide each day into segments of intentions. Okay, so I'm thinking that you're so much exposed to the news, to the pandemic coronavirus, to the lockdown, quarantine, isolation and so many positive cases, so many uh, relieved cases and so many deaths, more than 200 countries and this is going to explode the silent carriers, so many new new words, so many new new vocabularies you're thinking and uh, your, your day is uh, by the time you wake up till the time you sleep only this one particular thing is moving around you coming for diff coming from different sources and when you listen to a news you make your own judgment and what you are thinking the next day again it is turning out to be real so you're freaked out you're totally you know uh, like mesmerized do i have some magic because what the final uh, the final thing what I'm getting in my mind for a particular news next day or after a couple of hours that news is coming turning into reality and you're also thinking that okay so now I have to stop thinking negative and now I have to stop thinking bad and now I have to focus thinking good and now I have to focus thinking uh, positive because all my thoughts are turning real so why not i focus on the good things so that they will come true you're right dear so you start thinking and you start focusing on good on positive and they will also come real the more the f the side which you focus more is the real side so focus on positive things you're thinking that now have to stop focusing on negative things now and start focusing on the positive things so that will also turn real because you are thinking that all your imaginations are turning real and now you want to uh, cut off cut off your uh, routine uh, in isolation or self-quarantine you don't want to listen to more news now you want to segment your day divide your day you know like uh, maybe from you, you want to make a schedule or a timetable that morning i'll do this in the daytime i'll do this or for this many hours i will do some creative activity then i'll maybe take a nap or uh, talk to a friend on skype or a message uh, do a, a conference call with my business uh, colleagues or whatever so I will divide my day into segments so that I can pass my day easily and you know I, I don't want to spend all my time thinking about this coronavirus pandemic that's a great thought so this is what is happening inside your head can you see here uh, luckily the pond the pond the, the valley the mountains 
there's a little land i think these are the mountains and this is a valley this is your thought the deep thoughts which are all turning into real so that's why now you want to focus on positive thinking and you want to divide your day into different different activities so that uh, uh, you can have a little color here reflects that now your all your thinking will be focused on uh, the positive uh, things now so you will move off the negative and you'll start thinking positive and your positive thoughts will turn into reality because you are very very deeply imaginative very very analytical so all the analytical things will come out real that is for sure so what is the purpose why you you're thinking where your thought processes are coming from so your thought processes are bringing you the abundance and the, your thought processes are are the results of your childhood traits as a child here i see a school board this is you this may be your mentor your facilitator your teacher so you're questioning your power of thinking is coming from the education which you have pursued in your school as a student i find you very very diligent very very doubt raising and you always had doubts to your teachers and unless you got to the root unless you got the complete answers for your questions you were digging deeper inside digging deeper inside and so all this traits of your thoughts is coming back from your school so and maybe uh you were a very good at maths your favorite subject was maths or your favorite teacher was mathematics teacher and you were very very calculative so that's why and this will bring you abundance because the more information you have the more knowledge you have the more aware you become and you are abundance of uh, you have abundance of information here it's written you are fully supported uh, as you devote yourself to your divine life purpose yes you are fully supported you are very healthy person maybe you are a vegetarian uh, and uh, people around you they appreciate uh, this quality of yours and when they have some kind of uh, questions uh, they come up to you they look up to you because you have uh, the uh, like complete answers for most of the questions okay so let's see what messages we have uh, for you from your angels so your angels are saying that chantal new romance is imminent either with a newcomer or through reignited passion in your existing relationship be open to giving and receiving love yes so in your busy schedule maybe you have uh, you have ignored or you have kept your your uh, desire for love or the person who loves you 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 could not uh, give him give them much time so they will again come back to your life with the same uh, ignition the fire will be reignited the passion will be as fresh as you have left it and uh, uh, you will uh, be able to enjoy uh, the romantic side of your life and uh, you have to be ready to open to give and receive love so new love is coming to uh, for the new love that is the message from angel chantal and one more message we have for you that is from the angel in real you are a light worker god needs you to shine your divine light and love like an angel upon the earth and all of its inhibit inhibitants Yes I told you because you are abundance of knowledge you have so much information and when you see people 
surrounded with such kind of questions, such kind of problems. You have answers for uh, them, complete answers for them. So you are a light worker. You have so much information, so much knowledge. Here I see the the Earth, planet Earth. So you are here to resolve the problem of people through your knowledge, through your thought processes, and uh, through your deep analytical powers. So you are a light worker and you are a God's person. You are, you are divine and uh, you are here to help people and uh, its inhabitants. Okay. So that is uh, the message from the angels for you and for that little question which is burning inside, deep inside your heart. The fearful question that will the world end as it has been predicted by some astrologers or some numerologists that the world is going into chaos by the end of 2020. There are also some predictions uh, in the Bible and in also some religious uh, books. So uh, you're worried about the human race. Are we going to get extinct? So for that, I have the sacred cards answering, uh, giving you answers which may console your thoughts. Okay, so the first card I have is uh, the emperor. And the second card I have is the High Priestess. And the third card is the Judgment. Okay. So, these cards convey the message that whichever country you belong to or whichever part of the world you belong to, uh, the person who has the supreme powers, the political powers maybe, or uh, if you are like following some a spiritual leader so a very highly intellectual person is capable of taking your uh, country and its people will be able to plunge them out bring them up from the fear of uh, you know getting uh, diminished or fear of getting uh, finished so the superpower a very powerful person the purusha is the complete leader a leader like figure or the prime minister or president of your country will come up with some task plans will come up with some uh, resolutions or some great revolutions a very big change so that it will change the face of your country so don't worry you are safe Okay, the world is not going to end. So don't believe in the prophecies of uh, prophecies which which uh, uh, proclaims that world is going to end. Human race is going to extinct. We are going nowhere. The the humanity, the human race, the life will be moving, will be evolving, will be reproducing, and will be uh, going into a positive side of the earth we are safe so and the leader of your country will be able to bring a big bigger change uh, in the picture and the high priestess the shakti the shakti the power again here the power there will be a powerful source which will come to kill the demon which will uh, originate to kill the demon the demon right now is the coronavirus pandemic or the threat because of its uh, fast spread so a shakti the forehead has one more eye the third eye with the moon the balanced moon will the powerful feminine energy will come and will tackle the whole problem there will be some kind of four powerful force which will come and which will help us uh, come out of the situation and finally have a judgment card the judgment will be done to us you know this is the time for the final judgment so those the judgment will be depending upon the karma of the people so definitely some people will be punished for their karmas but if you are deeds are your deeds are clear your intentions are good you will be protected so 
the protective force will always prevail we are not nowhere near to destruction we are all safe so that is the answer uh, i hope you are a little relieved the world is not going to end the human race is safe and everything will uh, get better and move into positive side so that is for the concerned souls those who have chosen pile 2 i hope you could relate with your thinking processes and the purposes and you're happy with the messages angels conveyed to you and i hope you also got the sacred answer for the fearful question which has been burning in your heart so let's move to the final pile that is pile 3 those who have chosen pile 3 this little cone shaped seashell this is very delicate so let me keep it aside again you thinking right now so you are thinking that my creative workshop process works for me our little babies are also thinking beings okay so you are very very mature person uh what i get the intuition from the cards is that you're very mature and you're thinking about you know uh as mature people as elder people as grown up people we are like not able to adapt to this uh isolation this complete cut off or complete change of routine and activities which we have been practicing since we were born and suddenly we are you know in self quarantine and isolation and lockdown we are not able to cope up with the situation maybe same something is also happening with the little ones the little children the little babies around us so that's very very sweet of you you are not only thinking about yourself but you but you are also thinking about your children that they were like so much uh, in habit of going outside on their weekends or going to their favorite pizza shop or a sweet shop or an ice cream parlor or a playstation and now they are like completely cut off and they are you know uh, confused they are happily confused actually like mama daddy and brother sister everybody is in the home all the time like they used to go to their work they used to go to their office they had no, uh, no time for uh, their children and they were so busy but now they have like everybody is together eating and sleeping and doing recreational activities creative works they are playing carrom boards they are playing indoor games with their children so maybe uh, this brings happiness to them but also like they are you know like confused so you are thinking that you know what what uh, uh, is the impact of this uh, separation or isolation on the little minds that's really very sweet of you and you're uh, spending your time doing lots of creative activity and you're very very happy you know my creative workshop process works for me so there are many people who are completely pissed off bored they just hate the idea of lockdown they want to go out they want to go for a picnic they want to go for a tour they want to go for a trekking or a hiking but you are you know cool you are enjoying you are doing so many creative work which you have been craving to do for a long long time but because of your busy schedule you had no time to do that now you are doing everything maybe you are doing some kitchen gardening farming you're cleaning an aquarium or you're making a fountain you're working so much with uh soil water and your hands and you are doing so much creative things and maybe your family uh, your children they are like you know completely astonished with the uh tremendous talent which you have inside you and they are enjoying along with you and you are enjoying this time very very much and you are very much concerned about the little children during this time maybe you are also concerned because they are not going to school so what will happen to their 
uh, academics or will they be again uh, find difficulty to again you know get habituated uh, for their routine school activities so you are very much uh, concerned about your children but uh, and somehow you are enjoying this time so that is what you are thinking and all this uh, thought process the purpose of all this thought process is uh, coming from books yes you are reading lots of uh, books and you connect to your life purpose through your involvement with books yes so all this creativity is coming from the books okay and all these ideas is coming from the books that is why you are so much concerned with the children because if they are like spending their whole time like this in the family not going to school what will happen to them because you want to see books in their hands you want you are so much attached to books because all your creativity comes from the books you are happy to be around books so uh, that's the concern that's where the concern coming from the little babies or little children around you and heart's desire see your heart's been desiring for all this creativity which finally you got time to unleash it to reveal it to everyone so your heart's desire is been fulfilled it says that uh, let me read it out the angels are supporting guiding and protecting you as your dreams become a reality so you are living your dream this this time is you are feeling as if you are in a beautiful dream and uh, your angels are also supporting you okay so that is the purpose of your thought processes let's see what angels want to convey you the messages from the angels the angel shanti is saying that i am the angel of peace i bring you new tranquility and smoother road ahead okay so you are creating peaceful environment for yourself inside and outside and also for the family and children in your family complete fulfilled now and you're worried that will this peace will be taken away as soon as the lockdown is over so that uh, angel shanti is saying that no this peace will continue this peace will grow and here i can see here a uh, uh, a singing bowl which is tied to the waist of the angel shanti the peace angel uh, and i can see white flowers uh, maybe there is some kind of connection with the right white flowers i can see here a calf and also i can see here a lion so this is wild animal where is this uh, whereas a calf is uh, you know very innocent domestic animal so uh, i hope you could relate uh, with this uh, objects more than i could explain it to you and one more angelic uh, guidance we have for you is that of angel uh, serifina yes serifina i am the angel of families a happy change or addition is coming to your family so the angel is saying don't worry this peace will be there and something more uh, better or something good change a happy change is about is is being added is coming soon uh, into your family and here also i can see a baby here and also this angel serifina uh, is also holding a holding an infant in her arms so you are very very much uh, very very attached to children here also a baby calf and here also budding flowers so uh, your concern is more towards the younger generation and that's very very um, optimistic uh, kind of thought process so don't worry you will be living your dream for the rest of your life this creativity this peacefulness this happiness and uh, this concern and uh, the whatever you wanted will be with you forever and this is the time it has initiated and it will be with you continuously with you till you are here and you will also hand it over to the generations uh, descendants their children because you are so much connected with the children and their future okay so 
though everything is going fabulous you have a little a fearful scenario in your heart a little fearful question a fierce question that like everything your dream has started and will the dream be like you know shattered will the world will come to an end as it's been prophesied so many prophecies are being circulated that the world will end by uh, the end of 2020 or by the end of april some people are saying 29 some people are saying 13th of april 2020 and others are saying 8th of april 2020 so this is the question which is worrying you and to take off your worries i have sacred cards to answer to answer this question of yours uh, so let's see what the sacred cards have to console your heart and mind the first card is saying that the fool the vidushaka in the hindu mythology the vidushaka the fool and the second card i have is the magician the usha so this card is saying that do not believe okay you are been fed with this information you are been brainwashed till the time you wake up from the time you wake up till the time you sleep you are being reminded and fed again and again the world is going to end the world is going to end the world is not going to end the world is going nowhere we are going nowhere we are safe our children are safe our dreams are safe our creative work is safe our happiness is safe and if you are going to believe these prophecies you are a fool so don't be a fool be a wise uh, be a wiser <laughs> be a wise man or a wise woman so don't believe if you believe you are being fooled and the magician the card magician is saying some kind of magic will happen which will swipe the floor uh of your feet it will completely you know something which we have not expected will happen to rescue us our rescues rescuers are there everywhere surrounded us they will come for our rescue some kind of magic will happen and the magician card the usha usha means the rising sun the rising sun will bring a new beginning okay maybe the sun is the source which will end our problems so that is uh, the question your question being answered by the sacred cards i hope uh, it has given you a little relief so with a smile let's end the reading for pile 3 and let's end today's reading so that is what i have got for today from the goddess white tara i hope you uh Uh, had uh, related or you had uh, understood your thought processes and my way of convincing you and answering your questions so i just want to say one more thing that please uh, corona is just a phase it will go off so in the lack of right information listen to the health uh, uh, official sources which comes from the health ministry which comes from your government support them you know stand together uh, take care of your family uh, have healthy habits uh, have hygienic habits eat sensibly stay at home stay safe let's uh, stand together to fight against corona so goddess white tara shall bless us all thank you very much for tuning into my channel take care stay home stay safe bye bye